Hi, I'm Christina Heideck with PTO Answers, and today I'm going to talk to you about three ways that your PTO is wasting money. And I know you might be thinking, like, Christina, why are we talking about this right now? Well, I gotta say, um, like, we talk so much about how to raise more money, but we never really talk about the flip side of that, right? And so I thought maybe if we if I shed some light on a couple ways that groups are actually like hemorrhaging money and not even realizing it, that they can actually fundraise less because I can't think of anybody outside of a fundraising professional, which none of us are, right? That actually enjoys to fundraise. Like we hate asking people for money. We hate, hate it, hate it, hate it. So. I'm gonna give you a couple um, ideas about ways that you can stop wasting money and so you don't have to raise quite as much. And so it kind of works the same way as like a household income or household budget where you have to balance your budget, obviously. Um, and actually it's even more of a concern for PTOs and PTAs because we don't really have a line of credit to fall back on, right? Like if we get into a tough situation with our household income, we can always take out a credit card or get a home equity line or something else like that. Those options really just are not available to PTAs and PTOs. So we need to be really smart about our money. And so, um, yeah, so I just want to talk about those three, just three ways that I've come up with um, or that I've thought <clears throat> when I th was thinking about this issue, like probably not even aware of of these things. So the first thing, the first way that PTOs and PTAs are wasting money is by not using up what we've already, like what we already have. So we're not being good about using things that we've already spent our good money on and they're perfectly good. But the problem is, is that we're not organized and we don't actually know we have them. So I know a lot of um, groups always ask like, well, how do you store, store your like PTO stuff, like do you have a PTA closet or a storage unit or something along those lines? Um, and so if, if you don't have a centralized place to keep all of your stuff, I guarantee you're spending extra money that you don't need to on like repurchasing things that is already somewhere like with a PTO volunteer that PTO funds have already been used to purchase, but you don't know about it. So uh, you ne really need to take an inventory of what you already have and use it up. So a really good example of this for one of my uh, lower, for the lower elementary PTA that I was involved, involved in for so long, of course, until my kids aged out, where we were really bad about purchasing duplicate, silverware like disposable silverware so it's not really silverware i guess but like cutlery and stuff like that for like teacher appreciation events or family fun events or anything where we were having food like when we went to our storage space and i really started to organize it one time we had like gobs and gobs and gobs of this stuff and i was like oh my god we're sitting in like 100 bucks worth of silverware here so like i started to make a list and i told everybody i sent an email out to everybody i said do not buy any more like we are good, we are good on napkins. And I think we had a crap ton of like plates and bowls and stuff too. So I was like, do not spend any more money on this. And then I even emailed the chairs who were in charge of the staff appreciation in the family fun events and said, yo, 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 look at what we already have, just so you know, so you don't need to allocate any money in your budget for this because there's more than enough here. So really, if you, um, this is more, especially crucial if you don't have a centralized storage unit, the, the inventory process that is, you really just need to get a handle on what everybody has. So the, the easiest way to solve this would be just to start like a massive spreadsheet. I would make it a Google, Google spreadsheet um, and sheets where your fellow officers, you can distribute the link and just say, type in what you have and how much of it you have and where it's located. And so that way you can have a running inventory and so people can check that before they need to go out and buy something new. And I know this year, I, people are like really trying to stretch their dollars and I think smart, smartly so because you wanna look at what you have 
and how you can use it in a different way so that we don't have to go out and buy something new, right? So one is, or the first thing is just to get a handle on what you've already purchased. All right, the next way that PTOs totally waste money is by guessing on participation rates so that you're not buying the right amount of stuff and you're usually overbuying because this is my, the, the kind of general rule I live by is I'd always rather have extra food at a party than to run out. It's just part of being a good hostess, right? So people who know how to plan parties will also plan like this too, and you'll end up with more than you need. Well, one way to get that number under, um, like under, under control so that you're not buying more than you need is to take detailed notes about, um, like how many people came to your event, what supplies were used, how much was purchased in advance, and how much you ended up with at the end. And so there's a, there's a lot of the like little details that are involved in order to uh, have an accurate picture of um, like everything that's needed for the event. So if you're wondering where you can get the um, planning worksheets to help with tracking all this information, those are inside the President's Success Kit. So I've made it super easy because I found, uh, I don't, I just don't like to waste things. Like one, I'm a super big tree hugger. So I hate throwing out food because, you know, I just think it's a waste of our money to be tossing food or tossing supplies that we didn't know we had and weren't stored properly and they got ruined in the process. Like that's just a waste of money and we need to be doing a better job about not wasting our money. Um, So yeah, so just for as far as um, guessing on numbers for things, like really just track all that information and the, the planning worksheets that are in the present success kit will help you both plan your event and also kind of debrief you and help you get out all the information that's up here onto a sheet of paper so that you can um, have it as a reference the next time around. Or if you're passing along, uh, like you're leaving your office and you're passing along the materials, you can give it to the next person in line. And so this is just really important because there are a lot of things that we know that are important that we don't think are important, so we don't write them down. Or we think we're gonna remember that, but then when the time comes and someone asks us, we're like, I thought I'd remember that, but I really don't. So it's just good to write it down. And so the planning worksheets inside of the present success kit really help to make that easier. Um, I use them all the time. I love them. And when on, on the events or in the situations where I haven't filled them out, I'm like, what a dummy. I had these. Why did I just use them? So, and then on the events where I had them and used them, I was like, oh my God, I love myself so much because this just makes life so much easier. Because uh, again, I hate recreating the wheel or reinventing the wheel because there's already a process and it works. And so I should just stick with the process. So you too can enjoy that same thing. All right, so the last way that groups, uh, PTAs and PTOs are totally wasting money is on expensive software subscriptions, especially for like finding, like managing PTA and PTO money. Like if you have a Quicken subscription or if you have another annual subscription-based financial tracking software situation, uh, you do not need to have that. Uh, that's exactly why I came out with the Treasurer's Finance Manager because I just, I don't like to see groups waste money and that's something, I hate to waste money on overhead. It's kind of like when you're building a house and you have to spend all the money on, or a lot of money, on the foundation, on the pipes, on the electrical, on the structure for the house so it won't fall down. Like all the stuff you can't see you know you really want to be spending money on like the gorgeous light fixtures and the drapes and all that kind of stuff. Same goes with the PTO stuff. So for the like the administrative overhead, of course, would be like tools to make our jobs easier so that we're not spending, we're not wasting time reinventing the wheel or just trying to create like basic systems and processes. Like that's not the fun stuff. We really want to spend money on stuff that's going back into the classrooms to help the teachers and the kids or family fun events or awards for um, volunteer recognition or even like staff appreciation stuff. That's the kind of fun, fun stuff that we want to be spending on. Not 
we don't want to really be spending money on the administration stuff. So if, if you do have currently one of the annual subscription-based finance managers, ditch that in a second. You're going to save so much money when you switch over to the treasurer's finance manager. And um, I have put all of the resources that, so the present success kit and the treasurer's finance manager, and then I think 18 other fabulous resources are all on sale now through the end of the month. Uh, you can enter treat at check out. I've dropped the link in the description and you can get all of the resources for like 34% off. Um, and so I don't run this. You guys know I don't run sales really on my products because I think you should have them all the time. And I don't want to give the impression that, you know, you should only be buying them when they're on sale because this is just kind of like an added bonus. Um, but really you can save yourself a lot of money. And in most case, um, I did a couple cost comparisons for the different, like just on the finance manager, like options out there. And basically if you switch to my system, you will have paid for it in two years. So this year and next year. And then the good thing about it is with all of my products or especially the complete collection, you get access to lifetime updates. So it's really a one-time investment that you can use for years and years and years and years and years. And it's really going to help you save money and not waste it on annual subscriptions for fancy, fancy financial software stuff that you don't even know how to use. You don't need it for your PTO. You just don't have that much time to be spending. You just don't care that much. I'm going to tell you, you don't need all of that level of detail. Um, everything you need for the to track your PTO's finances is been covered in the treasurer's finance manager. Uh, so again, I'd encourage you to go get that. So those are just three ways that I came up, up with. I'm sure there are more um, ways that you're wasting money, but those are, I think, the big three that I could think of right away and that I thought were kind of like glaring, like you can do something about it right away. So just to kind of sum up the three areas that you need to be paying attention to are one, using up what you already have purchased with your PTO funds, not letting it get ruined before you use it up. Uh, and two, stop guessing on your participation rates for different programs so that you can accurately buy the right amount of supplies and you're not left with a whole bunch of leftovers, things that you immediately need to pitch or that you're just giving away for free. And the last way is to ditch expensive um, software subscriptions like the one you probably have for your finance manager. So again, you can um, check out all of the systems that I've created to help you run your PTA and PTO better and the link below. Use TREAT at checkout to save 34% between now and the end of the month. So I didn't see any questions pop up. So I hope that this was informative and that if you have any other questions, you'll add them in the comments below and I will answer them for you. So uh, until next time, take care and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.